everyone, Presito here. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering the linear airdrop. So this is becoming super hyped and it looks like they raised a ton of funds. So an airdrop is very likely. So in order to be eligible for the airdrop, you're going to have to do multiple things. You're going to have to interact with multiple dApps and so on. And I'm going to be showing you in this video the important ones to cover and a step by step guide on exactly how to do it in a very clear and simple way. So let's start up with what is linear. So it's a ZK rollup powered by consensus ZK EVM. And the objective is enhancing accessibility and user friendliness for developers working with ZK rollups. And it's built by consensus, which is the team behind Metamask. So that's quite pro. And one of the key features they offer is its rollup scaling solution, which grants high throughput and remarkably low transaction costs. And also being EVM compatible, it makes it easy for Ethereum developers to leverage ZK rollups seamlessly with their existing tools. So that's just a brief overview of what it is. And as you can see, they had a funding round of 726 million, and that was done on October 18th, 2022. That's when the latest one was at least. And it was through a secondary market round. But either way, that's really big and it's going to be a really big one. So it's definitely an airdrop you should be doing and trying to participate in. So that's as far as the intro goes. Also, before getting into the steps, what's also important to note is the different criteria that airdrops generally use. And there's different ones to consider. So additionally to what I'll be covering, you need to keep these in mind. For example, you need to be bridging. That's one of the things we'll do. Then also your transaction counts could be important. So if you just bridge once, maybe you won't be eligible. Maybe you'll need to bridge at a minimum of three times or something like that. So that's something to keep in mind. Then also how active you are, if you just do it one day and then you're done, maybe you need to do it multiple days or a few days per month, for example. Then next up, that's also really important is your volume. So if you bridge just $50 and you're done, maybe you will get an airdrop, but quite a small one. So maybe you're required to do 10,000 to get a bigger airdrop, for example. So that's all things that you need to keep in mind. Also the number of dApps you interact with, which in this video we'll be interacting with almost 10 or so. So that's uh, also very important. Your balances and your token balances on the chains could be also important, uh, interacting with NFT platforms and so on. So these are all things I'm going to be covering in the video. Also keep in mind when doing these airdrops, don't use your main wallet. Obviously you're interacting with so many different dApps. You never know what can happen. So I never do these on my main wallet. I'm never going to take that risk. So just send some funds to another wallet and use that. So that's very important. First step is to add it to Metamask uh, linear uh, chain, but that's really straightforward. Once you connect to any of these platforms, it'll basically automatically add it to your Metamask. So first step is to bridge. So we're going to be doing three bridges. First one is the official linear bridge, and that is bridge.linear.build. I'll be leaving links to all these websites in the video description, so you can easily get to those. But anyways, let's start with that. So you can see here I'm wrong network. So I'm just going to go on Ethereum, uh, switch to that. Okay, I'm on linear mainnet actually now. But anyway, so I actually want to switch from Ethereum to linear. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to bridge 0.2. So and then automatic claiming. I see manual claiming is an option, but I wouldn't do that just because with all these tasks, you're bound to maybe forget something. So I'm going to have to make sure I'm on Ethereum if I'm switching from Ethereum to linear. So let's do 0 0.2 and start bridging. And then it'll pop up here. And it is actually apparently the most expensive one to bridge with, but it's obviously important to bridge with this one because it is the official one. So if you don't do that, you know, what's the point in doing the others? So definitely bridge with linear official bridge. So there we go. Transaction validated on Ethereum. You can see the bridge is happening now. Transaction confirmed. And that's it. You've bridged. So hopefully that'll pop up in my linear wallet soon because some later tasks you'll be required to have that on linear mainnet. Next up, let's go to Orbiter Finance. So the nice thing about using Orbiter Finance bridge is that multiple airdrops uh, well, it can make you eligible for multiple airdrops, actually. For example, ZG Sync, Linear, and also Orbiter Finance itself might be doing airdrop. So if you're using this, then it's a really pro one to use. It's a must do. 
So anyways, that's bridge here now. So here I'm going to choose linear from Ethereum to linear. Okay, so it says uh, insufficient funds for some reason. Okay, for no reason actually, because it actually works. So I'm going to bridge another 0 0.2 Ethereum with Orbiter Finance. So I'm just going to pull it in, as you saw very simply. Just click send. Then uh, just go over this, see if it all looks good. Confirm and send. You can see it's much cheaper, only $1 gas fee. So it's definitely the cheapest bridge to use. And confirm and done. So now I'm just going to also uh, wait for that to go through. Let's check this one. This one's also pending. So let's just go to the next bridge and the last bridge that we'll be using, which is rhino.finance. So this one, you need to connect your wallet just like the others, of course, and then click on bridge here at the top left. So here I'm going to deposit, as it says, deposit your funds from chain A. That's going to be Ethereum. And I'll also put 0 0.2 here. And of course, I want to withdraw it to linear, which you can see is already ticked here. So Ethereum to linear. I put in here 0. Oh, let's do 0 0.1 Ethereum on this one. Click deposit. Yeah, okay, it says I've already got one pending transaction probably from earlier, but anyway, so you see the gas is actually quite a lot for this Rhino 5, but I'm going to do it anyway just to get this task done. So I'm going to have to wait for this to deposit. Okay, so the transaction finally went through. So over here, I can now withdraw my funds to chain B, which that will be linear. So I put in here the max 0 0.1, which is what I deposited. I make sure I choose linear here and I click continue and confirm withdrawal. And it's simple as that. And it will go to your linear mainnet MetaMask wallet. So that's it for the bridges. We've done all the bridging tasks. Now all we have to do is wait for the funds to arrive on linear mainnet on our wallet. So once it arrives, we can do the other tasks, which is to trade on the DEXs. Okay, so I've received the funds in my wallet now. Some of the bridges have been completed. It looks like I'm just waiting for one of them still to be received. But anyways, I can move on now with 0 0.3 Ethereum in my linear mainnet wallet. So you're going to want to go to horizondex.io. This is the first DEX we're going to be using. Once you're on there, make sure you're connected uh, on linear mainnet on MetaMask. So once you're connected, let's choose Ethereum here. So I'm going to swap Ethereum. It doesn't really matter what you swap it for, but I'm just going to swap it for BUSD just so it's something uh, quite stable. And I'm going to swap 0. Point, let's do, I'm going to do four DEXs. So I'm just going to make sure I have enough to swap between all of them. So actually, let's just do 0. 0.1. I'm going to swap 0. 0.1 Ethereum. It doesn't really matter how much you do. Obviously, like I said earlier in the video, the volume is quite important. But this is just for an example. So there we go. 0. 0.1 swapped. So I can wait for that to go through. And you should see my BUSD here on linear go up. So let's wait for that. Okay, there we go. So the swap was a success. You can see I swapped a 0 0.1 Ethereum for 186 BUSD. So that's the step done for Horizon Dex. Next up, we're going to go to syncswap.xyz. Here I'm going to do basically the same thing. So I'm going to swap Ethereum for CEBUSD, which is just the same that I swapped it for on the other website. And confirm. So there we go. Same thing done on sync swap. Simple and straightforward. Just going to wait for that transaction to complete. Okay, there we go. Completed. So now I'm going to move to the next DEX, which is echodex.io. Same thing here. Connect your wallet. Make sure you're on linear mainnet. I'm going to pick here also Ethereum to, again, Binance. Uh, USD. I'm going to do just 0 0.05 for this one. And here I'm just going to choose default swap, confirm swap, confirm that in my wallet. And there we go. Echo Dex done as well. So I'm also going to wait for this transaction to confirm quickly. Okay. And transaction confirmed as you can see here. So let's go to the last Dex we're going to be using. And this is symbiosis. So here I actually noticed you can only swap, uh, linear ethereum the only options for linear is ethereum and wrapped ethereum so we're going to do ethereum to wrapped ethereum but as you can see i'm a bit low on ethereum so i'm actually going to go back to one of the dexes and i'm going to swap the busd back to ethereum so i'm going to approve the busd 
there's no harm in doing this as well it could actually also be a benefit you're just doing some more transactions more volume so i'm going to be swapping all this busd back to ethereum another reason is i actually don't want to sell ethereum for busd since i'm bullish on ethereum so i'm going to swap that back to ethereum before i go back to symbiosis and wrap the ethereum okay so the swap is complete and you can also see in the meantime i've received the other 0.2 ethereum it was actually linear bridge that was pending so keep in mind that is the one that is quite slow anyways let's wrap some ethereum so i'm just going to do 0.2 over here wrap just confirm that transaction and there we go we're also done with that so symbiosis is done so the next step would be the NFT section that we're going to have to interact with. So let's have a look at what we can do for that. So the first site you'll want to go to is bylinear.io. So this website, what you can do is just create your own collection. It's really quick and simple. You just go on your wallet here, my collections, and then I just uploaded a random image for both. And I'm gonna click on create collection and uh, I'm gonna wait for that to pop up. And I'm gonna confirm that. So let's see if this all goes ahead and works because then you've interacted with Bylinear, created your NFT collection, and it's another potential eligibility criteria completed. So there we go. Transaction confirmed, created my pro collection with one item and done. So that's what you can do. You can also just browse other collections and uh, buy whatever you want. Anyways, the next site that uh, you'll want to be using is OmniC. So this is another NFT website. So you can see here what I, I did check out the create, but it is quite complicated to actually create something. So I'm going to have a look at uh, what NFTs there are, which I can um, mint or whatever. So let's see what uh, collections there are. So there's this Iron Hover, ZK Golem has been fully minted out. This is also fully minted out. So it looks like this Iron Hover is the only one that is still available and it's not like i'm bullish on it or whatever i'm just doing it to uh, participate in the airdrop so it says i have to switch to zk sync so i'm going to do that and also this will help you potentially be eligible for uh zk sync airdrop which is also really cool so there we go switch to zk sync let's see what's going on here so okay mint one nft so i'm going to do that pops up the wallet confirm and i'm just going to wait for that to work and let's uh okay that was really quick success minted one ft on my wallet so i'm done with that and it says there's 30 poor wallet eligible but i'm just going to do the one and there we go all the tasks are completed i think if you do these there'll be a very high chance you'll be eligible obviously there's more things you can do for example go to pools and provide liquidity if you really want to go overboard and make sure of it then you can also do this on multiple accounts but keep in mind you don't want to be classified as a sybil so to avoid that you can do the trick that i showed in my previous airdrop video where you go to uh, on my zk sync video if you skip to the end of that you can see if you go on okx then you can deposit with the sub accounts and withdraw to different wallets so they're not tied together in any way so you can farm it basically from a lot of different accounts so if you guys found this video valuable uh, i'd appreciate if you can subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on twitter and telegram and i'll see you guys next time